Good morning. This is PJ. It is Tuesday, October 5th. We are here for our daily lectionary readings. Today we have our psalm reading, which is Psalms 112. Our Old Testament reading is Deuteronomy chapter 24, verses 1 through 5. And our New Testament reading is 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 10 through 16. Let us listen in to the scripture readings. Hallelujah. Blessed man, blessed woman who fear God, who cherish and relish his commandments, their children, robust on earth, and the homes of the upright, how blessed their houses brim with wealth, and a generosity that never runs dry. Sunrise break through the darkness for good people. God's grace and mercy and justice. The good person is generous and lends lavishly. No shuffling or stumbling around on this one, but a sterling and solid and lasting reputation. Unfazed by rumors and gossip, heart ready, trusting in God, spirit firm, unperturbed, ever blessed. Relaxed among enemies, they lavish gifts on the poor. A generosity that goes on and on and on. An honored life, a beautiful life. Someone wicked takes one look and rages. Blusters away, but ends up speechless. There's nothing to the dreams of the wicked. Nothing. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 24, verses 1 through 5. If a man marries a woman, and it then happens that he no longer likes her because he has found something wrong with her, he may give her divorce papers, but put them in her hand and send her off. After she leaves, if she becomes another man's wife, and he also comes to hate her, and the second husband also gives her divorce papers, puts them in her hand, and sends her off, or if he should die, then the first husband who divorced her can't marry her again. She had made herself ritually unclean, and her remarriage would be an abomination in the presence of God and defile the land with the sin. This land that your God, your God is giving you as an inheritance. When a man takes a new wife, he is not to go out with the army or be given any business or work duties. He gets one year off simply to be at home, making his wife happy. Our New Testament reading today is from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7, verses 10 through 16. And if you are married... Stay married. This is the master's command, not mine. If a wife should leave her husband, she must either remain single or else come back and make things right with him. And a husband has no right to get rid of his wife. For the rest of you who are in mixed marriages, Christians married to non-Christians, we have no explicit command from the master. So this is what you must do. If you are a man with a wife who is not a believer, but who still wants to live with you, hold on to her. If you are a woman with a husband who is not a believer, but he wants to live with you, hold on to him. The unbelieving husband shares to an extent in the holiness of his wife, and the unbelieving wife is likewise touched by the holiness of her husband. Otherwise, your children would be left out, as it is. They are also included in the spiritual purposes of God. On the other hand, if the unbelieving spouse walks out, you've got to let him or her go. You don't have to hold on desperately. God has called us to make the best of it, as peacefully as we can. You never know, wife. The way you handle this might bring your husband not only back to you, but to God. You never know, husband, the way that you handle this may bring your wife not only back to you, but to God. And here ends our readings for the day. Have a beautiful day.